What is going on, guys? It's real cool. Pack Entertainment. And for this episode of we have to get to that level of Now, one of these I almost didn't explain because I felt it'd be too easy. But, <clears throat> you know what? These two games aged well and they deserve some recognition for it. So let's take a look. <clears throat> and, guys, this is possibly the best game in the classic Tomb Raider series Tomb Raider 2 on the PlayStation. This one, I feel like, has aged well, and we'll see how in just a minute. This was made by, as you can see, Eidos and Core Designs. Or Eidos, either or. <clears throat> just start out at the house. Welcome back. All right, and as you can see here, this for a PlayStation game has started. actually aged well. I'm no, trying to remember what I'm right. supposed to do here. You need to press jump and for bigger gaps, I need to do a running yeah. jump back to the start. I wish I could skip all this. No, but I know how to play. Right, you need to press jump and forward together for me to clear the gap. Run back to the start and try again. How am I having so much trouble with this? Okay, that's jump. Okay. Graphically, this age similar, kind of well. It's the con I believe it's really in the controls where this age well. Just trying to figure out how to jump. Okay, so square jumps. Similarly, I believe X does as well. I'm not sure. Excel actually put you on the platform. I can't get. How am I doing this wrong? Graphically, this game aged okay. It's in the con again. I think it's in the controls, and if we can get there later on, you'll see the sound is pretty good too. Did he fart? That's disgusting. I've always had trouble with this, and I don't know why. Oh, probably, that's probably why, actually. But reset the clocks. I'll try to get them off. Let's have a look around. Lara herself actually looks pretty good. As she does usually in these games. Is that right? For bigger gaps, I need to do a running jump. Back to the start. Uh, what? No, that's not right. Shut up, Lara. You need to press jump and forward together for me to clear the gap. Run back to the start and try again. I swear I've gotten past this before. Okay, we're back on the platform. For now. Yeah, screw it. I'm on the platform, am I not? Eh. Let me move on. 
To climb up, press forward and then hold down the action button. Already did that. To make that jump successfully, I need to walk back as far as possible from the... To avoid falling off the ledges, you can use the walk button. That way, I'm more careful and won't step over the edge. Where is this accursed walk button? Where? To climb up, that's press roll. forward okay, and then hold roll. down the action button. Get up there. Okay, we're gonna try to, to get make it. that jump successfully. I need to walk back as far as possible from the edge. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. take a running jump as before. Or you could walk to the edge, jump. Okay, that was quite a tough one. You need to make a running jump and then press action for me to grab the edge. I first need to get, to back get on the run up flat. exactly right. Walk Lara. to the edge, then tap backwards to jump back. If you run forwards from there and press jump, I'll make it just right. How did I end up in the water? How do I get out of the water is the better question. Can't get up that box. Can go all the way back and do it again. Let's just level it. I'm not at the start again, am I? Oh dear. Back to the start if I want to beat my best time. Uh, and there's no way to just. Alright, we're going to stop it right here. I'll be back with final thoughts in just a sec. <clears throat> so, I would absolutely buy Team Raider 2. It's cheap. No matter which version you get, it's going to be the same good looking game. And I say that because it was a Dreamcast version and a PlayStation version. Obviously, the PlayStation was more well known, but they're both around the same price. I would definitely go for it. Anyway, I've got one more game to get to, so let's get right on to it. And this, our main event of the day is. This is by Naughty Dog and Stony themselves, I believe. Crash was uh, the mascot for the PlayStation, actually. So let's. In this game, we actually released in the Xbox as part of a Crash collection that also included what Crash One, Two, and Three. <laughs> I should say also include a crash one and three. <clears throat> you see that we have a bit of a hub world there, kind of like Super. I was gonna say Super Mario 64 did. Well, you well, can't actually pick any level you want. Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Yeah, we know the story here, so I tried. You can. We're gonna go with the level that everybody likes to use. That I hate. We're gonna go crash dash. <coughs> Object, get to the end without killing yourself a number of times. By yourself, I mean crash. Find the hold jump. There it is. Now, the only thing I don't think that did particularly well, that didn't operate very well, I think, is the camera. Because you could get motion stuff. Keep moving. There's the boulder that you have to dash to. Trying to figure out how I'm supposed to tilt the camera the right way. Okay, so X jumps. That's basically all you need to know. Except for where is the crash pin. And you have to dump these holes here. This level is nerve wracking. See why? And just that stupid boulder is why. But you, I got to the checkpoint, so I don't need to go back to the start. There's another boulder. 
Ah! Don't roll. We'll go back to the shank point, we'll try it again. Just stay ahead of the boulder, that's the... And don't fall in the holes. Because unlike E.T., you can't climb out of these. But unlike E.T. on the Atari 2600, unfortunately you can't climb out of these holes. We're gonna have to figure out... I can't remember how to slide underneath these. I gotta remember how to do that. I know how to do it on the Xbox and PS versions, but I can't remember how to do it on the PS5 version, but I can't remember how to do it on this one. Oh uh, yeah, and stay away from the landmines if at all possible. I just run around the electrified gates. Another checkpoint, meaning I don't have again, I don't have to go back to the start if I get one over end up in a hole like I did there. And what makes this a little simpler is these holes is the fact that you don't have to go back to the start unless you lose all your life. Now, obviously the graphics are what, what made this game age so well, the controls as well. Crash still looks great today, even though he's a PlayStation 1 character. Let's show some other levels here. Let's go to... No, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, shut up. I'm gonna go to Snowgo. I guess we can. Let's see. Yeah, we can. Now this one is the same exact level, but they added nitros and it's on snow instead of dirt. So it's going to be a little bit tougher to get through, and you're not boulder. Instead of being chased by a boulder, you're just having to get to the end. And look, Lenny. Penguins. I won't hurt them, I promise. But I will have to hurt the seals. Work, work, work. Well, Lenny, this isn't a penguin themed game, so I can't put it in penguin themed games too. But yeah, I will be doing that episode sooner or later. But anyway, you can see that this game aged particularly well. To the point of, like I said, this game is actually available on the Xbox nowadays. Musically, this game has always been great. With levels that... Okay, I had... Sorry, Lenny, I had to jump. With le levels the music that definitely fit what the game is going for. No more hurt, Penguin. I might have to, Lenny. It's kind of part of this part of the level. Nope! I can just jump the thing. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to jump it. The seals, though, can go. Seals! <clears throat> In this case, Lenny, you're right. Eh. Wait for these to... Eh. Doing pretty well. I like this. That's an extra life. Which we're gonna need because this jump is gonna get tough. Or it might. Okay, and this little thing we just picked up gives us an extra hit point. Meaning we won't die if we get hit once. It's twice now, I believe. I forget this little thing's name. Alright, yeah, so you have to collect a certain number of gems to pass these levels, but 
In that case, I'll be back with final thoughts in just a <clears throat> So, should you buy Crash Bandicoot 2? Absolutely! There's a reason this and Tomb Raider have been rebooted. These games look great and play great, like I, like I said earlier. <clears throat> and actually, this game got re-released as part of a collection on the Xbox. And there's been a fourth game in the series. Anyway, definitely go for it. And for now, Rivs Game Room is closed. And uh, you don't have to go, but you can't stay here. Bye-bye now.